Hi, I'm George Woodbury from the College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video I'll be talking about how to find the equation of a line under given conditions. We'll begin with the slope-intercept form of a line. The slope-intercept form of the equation of a line with slope m and y-intercept 0b is y equals mx plus b. This form of a line is used to find the equation of a line if its slope and y-intercept are known. Here's an example. Find the equation of a line whose slope is negative 11 sevenths and whose y-intercept is 0, negative 9. We'll use the slope-intercept form substituting negative 11 sevenths, the slope, for m, and negative 9, the y-coordinate of the y-intercept, for b. The equation is y equals negative 11 sevenths x minus 9. The point-slope form of the equation of a line with slope m that passes through the point x1, y1 is given by this formula. y minus y1, the y-coordinate, is equal to m, the slope, times x minus x1, the x-coordinate. This form of a line is used to find the equation of a line if its slope and the coordinates of a point that is not the y-intercept are known. Find the equation of a line whose slope is 3 and passes through the point negative 2, negative 4. In this example, we know that m is equal to 3, x1 is equal to negative 2, and y1 is equal to negative 4. We'll substitute into the point-slope form, replacing y1 by negative 4, m by 3, and x1 by negative 2. Remember that when we subtract a negative value, it's the same as adding a positive value. So we'll rewrite the left side as y plus 4, and the parentheses on the right side is x plus 2. Now we distribute the 3. 3 times x is 3x, plus 3 times 2 is 6. And we finish by solving for, for y by subtracting 4 from both sides. The equation of this line is y equals 3x plus 2. In the next example, we'll talk about how to find the equation of a line if we're given two points that are on the line. We'll begin by finding the slope of the line passing through those two points using the slope formula m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then we'll use the point-slope form with this slope and either of the two points we were given. We'll finish, as in the last example, by rewriting the equation in slope-intercept form. So to summarize, calculate the slope, substitute the slope and the coordinates of one point into the point-slope form, and solve this equation for y. Find the equation of a line that passes through the points negative 3, 5 and negative 1, negative 7. We'll begin by finding the slope. y2 minus y1 is negative 7 minus 5. In the denominator, x2 minus x1 is negative 1 minus negative 3, which we know we can rewrite as negative 1 plus 3. Simplifying the numerator and denominator, the slope is negative 12 divided by 2, or negative 6. Now we could use either of these two points in the point-slope form. I'm going to go ahead and use the first one, negative 3, 5. I'll replace y1 by 5, the slope m by negative 6, which we just calculated, and x1, the coordinate, the x-coordinate of that first point, by negative 3. Again, I'll rewrite x minus negative 3 as x plus 3, distribute negative 6, and add 5 to both sides. The equation of the line is y equals negative 6x minus 13. Now we'll take a look at a real-world application involving the same set of skills. Cost for copies is a linear function for the number of copies. If 150 copies cost $10.50 and 75 copies cost $8.25, Write a formula for copy costs as a linear function of the number of copies. Then find out how much it would cost to make 700 copies. We're looking for the equation of a line that passes through the points 150 comma ten dollars fifty cents and 75 comma eight dollars twenty five cents. 
the x and y values given in the sentences above. We'll find the slope first. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. We end up with negative $2.25 over negative 75, which divides out to be positive 0 0.03. We'll use the first point, 150 and $10.50, for x1 and y1, and we'll substitute our slope of 0 0.03 for m. Distribute the 0 0.03 and finish by adding 1050 to both sides. Our equation is y equals 0.03x plus 6. In other words, you pay $6 plus 3 cents per copy. To find the cost for 700 copies, we'll substitute 700 for x in the equation that we just found. 0 0.03 times 700 is equal to 21, and 21 plus 6 is equal to 27, so it would cost $27 to make 700 copies. If you have any questions or comments on these problems, finding the equation of a line given the slope and the y-intercept, given the slope and a po another point on the line, or simply given two points on the line, visit the contact page at my website, georgewoodbury.com. Thanks and good luck.